Yo, what's up everyone and welcome back. Another event boss just came back. Same as the others, the shop is pretty much worth farming as it always is. And he's very easy to farm on auto and without. So I'm going to just show you three teams lined up, two autos and one you got to play manually. But all of them you can clear in two turns. The main one which I've been using for a lot of this is has been the human team with Roxy. And since a lot of people told me like they don't have Roxy or some of them don't have like Arthur, I'm going to show like two other teams. So just in case you can't use this, you're going to have something else to try. This one is not even the best. I just use the human team the most because I don't really have to like make up another team. I don't have to use a slot for it. So that's why I always like have the human team already slotted in. But for the most part, it's like just attack sets and the same card set as usual. One thing I should say, if you do not have any of the card sets that I have, I've been using the card set on JP where you get 6% extra single target damage. So if you don't have any other cards that I show, that's what I've been using and it's been working. It's not better, but it helps. Like Bond goes crazy. And then second turn, everyone else follows up to just chip in with damage to just get the kill. Also, I should say two of the teams are auto two turn teams. And the second one is an albedo team. The albedo team is kind of iffy because yes, it's two turns still, but you still have to play it. Why play it when you can auto? And I'm pretty sure most people will have like the second team, which is a melee Escanor variant with Slater. By now, a lot of people should have like at least rare pieces for Slater builds out like this. Just for like as much crit chance as possible on him. Sin's card set and I'm using Liz for her buff. This one is faster than the human team. But as I said, the only reason I didn't, I don't really swap from human teams is because it pretty much farms everything. So I don't really need to like burn another slot. I'm more sure more people might have this built out than the human team just because of Roxy not being available and with her relic probably. So this one's a pretty easy farm. Another good thing is like Melly gets his rank up because we are going to be debuffed on his second phase. And Melly just straight up gets the rank up and just kills him. Yeah, pretty much. Melly one shots it easily. Him alone just kills. And if that's still not going to work for you and you're less built, this is probably more like along the lines of my JP where I don't have a lot of units built and not a lot of gear sets. I don't think you need 6-6. Definitely not because you do a lot of damage on the second phase with his ult or with any ult. So that's good. So yeah, the only difference, we're going to actually be playing this manually. Alt food, of course. Rushing Freya's alt because he's going to be our out for a second phase. Thank you. 
And we do decent damage. Can't one shot with like her taunt, unfortunately, here though. Maybe if I had attack gear on her, maybe. Because that's HP. I didn't swap gear to test it. I just left it on her HP pieces. Still pretty easily cleared. And one thing I didn't expect to happen was one shotting on this account. Well, this is my main like global. I didn't expect to one shot because my JP, I can't ever one shot. I'll hit with an ult and maybe I kill, but most likely I'll have to like follow up with like one or two cards to just guarantee the kill because my JP is very, very weak. I'll save that, but yeah, still a pretty easy, faster clear if you can't auto it. So yeah, hope this helps. Hope you enjoyed. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.